Hello everyone. Hello. This is Kakur Bennett. Today I'm handling Microsoft Excel. So we shall start with practical question one under Microsoft Excel. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to have more of these videos as they are released on a weekly or daily basis. So below the question so, uh, tells us that below is the worksheet showing Austin Citizens High School levers for the budget. Use any of the spreadsheet programs and type in the work in the table below before you follow the instructions provided in the required list. So save your work as your name hyphen levers budget. So this is the work they need us to type in our Excel sheet. So we shall have to type this work. And then after typing this work, we shall answer the required questions. So we first create a folder. We can call this folder practical or practice on Excel. You that is the folder where you save your work and so you open Excel and type the work there so after having this work the way it is provided to us here so our work is here we can now answer the questions that follow so when you look at our content here is bolded even here is bolded even these ones are bolded we can edit that, select this bold, select that line, bold, even these ones, you can bold them, so that we now have the exact work. So the required question is say, use a function or formula to calculate total price in each item so we are going to calculate total price in each item so this is quantity price it means that we shall get quantity times price to get total so remember every formula or function must begin with equal signs so we say equal signs this star this this means that 50 times 4,800 but remember Excel uses sales so you can put this in brackets or you can leave it so for this it means multiplication and what we have used is a formula you can press enter alternatively you can use a function equal signs product Then these two, close brackets, press enter. So that is the price. And then you can auto fill by double clicking here or you scroll. So that is the total price. Next, that's the total price for each item. Then use appropriate functions, use appropriate functions to calculate average total price so let's calculate average total price from here equal signs average then you highlight from d3 to d9 you close the brackets press enter that is average total price then that we calculate lowest total price so from here we say equal signs small you open brackets highlight from d3 to d9 put a comma and put one cross brackets this is our function for calculating the lowest price you press enter alternatively 
you can use eco signs mean you open brackets select from d3 to d9 close brackets enter the same answer then highest price eco signs large open brackets select from d3 downwards to d9 comma one close brackets press enter alternatively you can also use max then next on the instruction is grand total price so meaning that here we shall say equal signs sum open brackets we are adding up total price like this from d3 to d9 close brackets enter next on our instruction is if the levers made a contribution of 1.5 as indicated in the worksheet this 1.5 is here use the formula to calculate the balance to remain after all purchase so we are calculating balance here equal signs this contribution d1 minus grand total after all purchases press enter so this is the balance that would remain save changes save changes to your work and you put it on the desktop in your folder as kakuru hyphen levers budget next on our instruction use the if function to display comments as high price if the item's price is 10,000 and above normal price if the item's price is above 5,000 and low if the item's price is 5,000 and below so we are going to use the if function to have the comment equal signs if open brackets they want us to use if the items price so equal signs if items price is c3 is greater or equal to 10,000 comma open quotes high price cross quotes comma if open brackets c3 is greater or equal to 5000 comma open quotes high price normal price for items above 5000 actually here we don't need equal signs this is normal price cross quotes comma and for those which are below we don't bring another if so comma open quotes low price you cross quotes cross your if two times because you open the if two times or you open brackets two times press enter so here you can auto fill or double click there for the comments to be generated automatically save changes next on the instruction is apply a thick green border with red grids inside apply a thick green border with red grids inside so we are going to highlight our work right click format cells
under borders tab here come to color choose green choose this thick border outside come to color again red choose this inside like this click ok do the same here right click format cells under border tab color green thick border outline color red grid inside click ok save changes next on instruction is create a pie chart based on items against price create a pie chart based on items against price fields showing labels and price variations in percentage save it as pie chart so we are going to highlight items column hold down control and select the price column you go to insert remember we are creating a pie chart then here choose pie take the 2d default so from here they are telling us to save save it as pie chart so you can right click here and say move chart or else click move chart from here so here new sheet call it pie chart click ok so this is our pie chart oh, remember our pie chart should have a title it should have it should have uh, labels price and percentage so we go to layout tab and then in here we can say a pie chart showing items and price and their prices and their prices and then they want also to include variation in percentages so we come to data labels more data labels so in here we can have value then percentage then you click close so that we have percentages total even you can include the the category name yes like that save changes and so this is the end of our number remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos as they will be loading thank you